Hello, 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 hello. It is October 19th. It's time for the weekly read for the tarot. Uh, hold on one second. I'm back. Okay. The weekly read for this week. Pro Tarot. Here you go. Let's do a prayer. Spirit, ancient ancestors, angels. Archangel Michael, please watch over our reading. We call on wisdom and guidance for this week we're going to pull one card for the whole week the overview for the whole week for all of us for the collective those watching this video we have a full moon in aries tomorrow so make sure you set aside some time tomorrow night to do some releasing and banishing even if you're just sitting down and writing in your journal sitting down and thinking to yourself all the things you want to let go of and that you're sick of and you don't want to deal with for this next cycle of the moon, make sure you are setting your intentions for that for tomorrow night. Tomorrow is a powerful blood moon in Aries. You know, Aries, I'm an Aries. Aries is the sign of leadership. It is a sign of war. Um, it is the sign of Mars. And it rules over war and um, winning you know, overtaking your enemies and things of that nature. Um, and it being a blood moon, yeah, it's a good time to uh, make sure you're keeping your energy, your emotions in check. Make sure you are um, banishing unhealthy expressions of anger and things of that nature. You know, um, as an Aries, I've had to learn the difference between being aggressive and being assertive. And then, you know, because of all my Pis my Pisces placements, um, not turning things into self-sabotage, that's something I'm still dealing with. But it's important to be authentic. So as you know, I'm still shuffling here. I'm going to do a knock on the deck. Let's clear the old energy. I have my selenite here. Whee! I'm going to let it sit here for a little bit. Ask the selenite to please clear the energy of this deck. Um, yeah, we all have toxic traits. For me, I'm controlling. I am um, judgmental, uncompromising. It's good and bad, stubborn. Those are some of my toxic traits. Everybody's got something. Um, so those are the things I manage, you know what I mean? And... Um, there's a difference between I've had to learn the difference between saying, "Oh, I'm not gonna be uh, I'm not gonna be judgmental anymore," but then I start accepting way too much bullshit, not speaking up for myself, not um, advocating for myself and my choices and what I want out of life, and you know, being codependent and deferring to other people in the name of quote unquote friendship or family. No, it's a balance. It's important to live your best life. To be happy, to express your feelings, express yourself. You know what I mean? A motherfucker who can't handle you expressing yourself don't need to be around you, period. Okay? Because I've learned to express myself without, damn, that jumped way. I didn't even have to touch it. A motherfucker who can't ex deal with you expressing yourself in a, not in a rude and nasty way, but just in an adult fashion, expressing your feelings and then gaslight you and shit like that. That's never going to be a happy, uh, a happy or healthy friendship, relationship, family, family situation, whatever, you know. So, okay, the, what jumped out for us, energy for the rest of this week, from today, Tuesday to next Monday, the Knight of Swords. Got to be careful with the Knight of Swords. Now, it was not, neither uh, it wasn't, it was neither upright nor um, upside down. It was kind of sideways. So. 
Be careful at a motherfucker coming at you sideways. That's number one. <laughs> okay. And the other thing is um, Knight of Swords. Let's see. Let's see if I remember some things here from the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords moves quickly. He's got his sword drawn. Swords is air energy. So there's also um, the air signs and your air sign placements. Where are your air sign placements on your charts and how they affect you? Now, for me, this is this is personally, I'm going to tell you how this affects me personally. I have my Mars in Aquarius, which is an air sign. So the moon is in Aries. So my Mars, which is how I take action, is in an air sign. So, so the Knight of Swords hits my chart in that way because... Um, I got to be careful how I take action this week, um, not move too quickly. And, you know, the Knight of Swords is not like the King of Swords. Now, he's not a page, meaning that it's not young energy, but the King of Swords is masterful at strategy. He's masterful at um, using his sword. Now, the sword has to do with thoughts, how we think. The Knight of Swords is developing mastery. They're not, they're kind of like... Um, not a freshman in terms of master, you know, in, in terms of um, intellect, but more like a junior, you know what I mean? A junior in college instead of being a senior. So we are at the junior level of our thoughts and, 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 and using our intellect and our logic and our strategy. So we're still working to get to the master level, but it's coming. Okay. And we're rushing towards it. See, because the Knight of swords is swift energy. Um, Swords is also about, like I said, about your thoughts. It's about the air sign energy. And um, looking at the imagery, imagery on this particular card, um, look out for where horses appear this week. There's, see if you see any horse imagery and what it means to you, whether it shows up in a commercial, on a car, on your Instagram or Facebook feed, on your social media feed, look for the horse imagery and what it means to you um, and what it's telling you, okay? And be careful where you wield your sword, right? Because you could have a project that you're excited about, you know, that, that the inspiration's rolling around in your head. Um, try to be strategic as possible about it. Keep working at it until you reach the master level, the king of swords energy, where you know that you have a great stat strategy. You have a plan A, plan B, and plan C. Okay? So, um, now, be careful also about going in too many different directions. Don't be running so fast that you lose focus and that you um, go into too many different directions. I think somebody's knocking at my door, but I don't. I wasn't expecting nobody, so I'm not opening nobody, no, nobody's damn door. They're gonna have to call my phone, like they have some sense in their head, because I don't do the surprise visit thing. Don't show up in my house. Don't do it. Do not do it. <laughs> you will be left outside, out the door, and ignored like a motherfucker. Because I don't do that. I don't show up at people's houses, and um, I just think it's rude. You know what I mean? Unless you, you know, are, unless it's your child. <laughs> but outside of that, no. Mm -mm. I think it's rude and I don't like that. So um, back to our reading. The Knight of Swords energy. Yeah. So keep that in mind this week as we roll out. This is going to be a short reading. We are very excited. Halloween Horror Nights is coming up. Finally going. I'm so excited. Yeah, so I want to send some footage um, for when we get up there, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I want to talk about all of the stuff that we're excited to go do, the houses, the food, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I am going to keep recording until I hit my 10 minutes and post for the week. I'm wishing everyone lots of love and light and transcendence. Um, remember to find moments to take stock, you know, go out in nature. Uh, again, a full moon is time to reflect on the period we just left out of. We just finished Mercury retrograde. So we just finished a period of, um, 
dealing with chaos and, you know, overcoming challenges and miscommunications and blow ups and, you know, um, everything was also retrograde too. So there was a lot of things, plans that fell through things. We were going to go, that we're, we're going to go one way that ended up going another way and having to go with the flow and reroute and things like that. So all the wisdom that those wonderful things have taught all of us, you know, all the tears shed, all the emotions run through. And now what is your decision? What are you going to do now with this next phase that we are entering? Because we are blessed to have another day and another phase to enter. And that is the first blessing of the day because a million dollars would mean nothing if you didn't wake up the next day. So every day we are blessed with the biggest gift, which is life. And that's something to take stock of as well. So again, wishing everyone love and light and transcendence. If you like, please hit the like button to help my um, algorithm. Make sure you're following, hit the bell notification. Follow me on Instagram at Allison's Cookie um, and check me out on my website. See if you want to order any cookies, www.hopeandcookies.com. Much love.